after chips now in my middle Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration state. Okay, let's go. No, I don't. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking told. This was going to be my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like we this. Okay, would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. 
After three action packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from you. Hey, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will you? Buzz off, asshole. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Get out of my face. You seem gay, you know where Leo Galante is. You're starting to get on my nerves, boy. Again? Yep. What do you do this time? It's the usual. Cold stone to go and fuck us in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. You think you can teach me some of that shit? Yeah. I'm looking for Leo Galante. I no want to be seen. Speak to Guai Lao. Oh, there you go. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hellhole because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you gay bastard. So did I. Could pay you back. This looks interesting. I want to make a small bet. I'm gonna break you, Dale. Come on. This is gonna be easier than the time I shot the potato at your mother's ass. Boy, I ain't skinny little faggots like you for breakfast. You eat faggots for breakfast? Give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but. I made a stand. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. Well, that's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the bra. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunch. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of yours. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas, let's get going. I 
Out of boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, Dad. Footwork, Pepe. Remember your footwork. It's good. Good defense can win a fight, fellas. Every punch you take could be your last. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? <clears throat> most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Pepe here. <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice. Two more. All right, one more of you. Oh. Oh. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? <clears throat> well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him. Watch where you walk, Guaylo! Right if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Yu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? China, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send him over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. They'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Get out there. Show him what you made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> ha! You big, but you no time. <laughs> Oh, 
Courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scott. All right. Come with me, Vito. a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before this big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Now, the guy you're going to be fighting is a strong bastard. He ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his gun. That's when you're going to be all right, here we go. Be proud, kid. Looky here. I'm gonna take this skinny ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard as mama's mama gonna feel it. Come on, my grandmama hit me hotter than that. I am, I am. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hottest work this bum ever did in his life. <laughs> Lay it down on the job like always. Hey, Your little hey, man. Going hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. 
Circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visit. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if you asked my permission first, but I am happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. How'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just, just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh, you keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Let's go, Scaletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. Oh, you're the new cleaner, man, huh? Follow me. That's cleaner. 
understand that. Oh, no.
main fight on the Shut the fuck up. It all worked out just fine. Bye. <laughs> 